Hello, this is Kenny Lee Burgess, and today I'd like to talk to you about playing chords on a cigar box guitar. There's many ways to string and tune a cigar box guitar, but some ways work a little bit better in regards to playing chords. Now what I'm talking about is the ability to play chords in any key. To make an instrument that's just as versatile as a six string guitar in standard tuning, or a piano. There's a simple saying that form follows function. So it's kind of like building that better mousetrap. The function is you want to catch mice. So the form has to accomplish that job. So hopefully you'll see in this video that if you set up your guitar in a certain way, it'll be very versatile and you can play pretty much any song you like because you'll be able to find the chords that you need. Now the nice thing about music it's all about relativity. There are only 12 notes. No more, no less. And if I would name them for you, it's C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, back to C. Those are the 12 keys of music. And the interesting thing is, is you can take any one of those notes and create the major scale. Now, you probably know the major scale. That's the one if you sing it goes, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. It's made up of eight notes. It's an octave. So you can start on note G, sing your way up through the major scale and end on G, and that would be the G major scale. Or you can start on note C sharp and sing your way through those eight notes and end on C sharp, and you'd have the key of C sharp. Now, my guitar is tuned to the key of G. And why is that? Because from low to high, my strings are D, G, B, and a D. That's because to make a G major chord, you need tones 1, 3, and 5 from the G major scale. So from low to high, the D is the 5, the G is the 1, the B is the 3rd, and then the first highest string is a D again, back to the 5. So essentially, the chord is on the three lowest strings. So that's a triad. I have an extra note. That's kind of what makes the four string a little bit better for chords than a three string guitar. Now the last thing I want to do is create cigar box guitar community controversy. All I'm trying to say about the three string cigar box guitar is that because by definition a chord is three notes played at the same time so to play a major chord you need tones one three and five from the major scale so that's not the problem but the problem comes in when you want to play extended chords when you want to add that fourth tone say like a, a seventh chord so now you would need the major chord one three five plus the flat at seventh so that's where you get into more or less uh, dropping out notes in substitution. Now, it's fine because, like I said, it, it, you're still playing the right chords, it kind of, but they're more like chord fragments. It implies the chord, and it sounds great. It actually may have a kind of a rural primitive sound. Because, like, here's a, like I want to say is that this guitar I have tuned the same way. It's to the major triad, but now I'm in the key of D because from low to high I have A, D, F sharp. So that's tones 5, 1, 3 from the D major scale. So if I strum it, that's a D chord. But again, you could finger notes. So that's still a, a D major chord because now, because how I'm holding the notes, I have 1, 3, 5. And you can clearly see how that sounds really different. Now, if I wanted to play a seventh chord, I couldn't add that extra note like I can do it on the fourth string. So I have to drop out a note. So if I drop out the D note and I flatten it a whole step, now I have a D seventh, but it doesn't have a one in it anymore. But again, you know, it's all about how you go about arranging it because. The, the three string, I, I really like the three string mainly because it's so primitive and, and a lot of stuff works out really pretty because like you could still, like I said, you could still work all kinds of progressions.
lot of nice things you can do. Um, it's just a little more of a matter of substitution. Now Bill and I are working on a new CD, and Bill suggested that one of the songs we do, he plays the banjo -lele. And he's going to be playing in that classical ukulele tuning, My Dog Has Fleas. But I'm going to be playing the four-string cigar box guitar, but it's going to be tuned in the key of G, like I said before. But the song is in the key of C, so I have to have the ability to play the chords that are found in the key of C, and those are the one, four, and five chords. That would be a C, an F, and a G. Now, the thing about this all is, is that I think what confuses people a lot about the guitar is that you can, even though it's the same chord, like you can play a C chord over here or a C chord over here, they all kind of sound different, mainly because how the notes are stacked on the guitar. So, for instance, uh, one of the chords, of course, I'm going to need is a C. Actually, I'm going to be playing C sevens. So this is a, a C seventh right here. Now you can hear, I'll play it slow from low to high. Now check this out. If I just do a little substitution, because remember these are two Ds, the low string and the high string are both Ds. What if I substituted it? What if I played what I'm playing on the lowest string on the highest string and vice versa, the high string on the lowest string? The chord would be like this. See, you can hear the difference. That's what they call the voice. Now, in the song, it starts off with this little progression where we're going from the C7 and we're walking lower to the A7. And it sounds like this. Now, what if I played it using that other inversion? See, it, it, it could work. It could work the way I would prefer. And then the other way. You see, so this is just something to understand and keep in mind. Even though you have the right chord, you're playing the right notes, there's a couple differences. One is the pitch. If you play it lower or higher, it's going to sound different. And also is what's called the inversions. The notes are stacked in a different order, so it sounds a different voice. So that was the chorus part of the song. So you can see, like one of the other ideas of um, arranging is that you want to understand that it should flow together. You know, you're not jumping all over the place. Um, you know, there's kind of another idea behind that. You know, because you're you're saying about the voicings of the chords, how the inversions sound right, but also the placement of the chords sound right. Um, maybe for an effect, you'd play some chord low here and then jump all the way up here. But a lot of times in rhythm, they're kind of bunched together and, and they kind of flow and sound really nice. So what was I doing in a sense? Like I said, I'm starting on the C, C7 actually, and I'm walking down. That's the A7. There's a D7, G7, C major. And then that repeats. It just stays on the G7 longer. And then it goes to another little progression, the C major, which is just bar and across. Then I'm adding the 7th. Then here I'm going to an F, actually F7, and then a flat 7th. And then it starts again. So you can see so far, you know, outside of just adding that extra A flat 7th, 
I'm just using the three basic chords to make a ragtime kind of blues progression. That's the great thing about the cigar box guitar. There's so many possibilities. I was talking about setting up the cigar box guitar to play in the keys of G or D and having a system of movable chords. But if you wanted to, you can set it up for any one of those 12 keys of music. Maybe you want to set it up for the key of F. So you would find the appropriate string gauges and then you would tune the guitar from low to high, 5, 1, 3, and the key of F, that would be C, F, B flat, and off you go. Of course, the chord names would change. You'd have to kind of figure that on out. But the possibilities are really endless. But just to throw one more kind of fly in the ointment, now I was talking about string relations 5, 1, 3. What if you flip that all around? 1, 3, 5, or 3, 5, 1. I mean, it would work the same. You'd still have movable chords. Of course, the shapes would change. But could you just imagine how the voices would all be different? I mean, that's the lovely thing about the cigar box guitar. I mean, there's just so many possibilities, and they'll sound different, and you can be very creative, especially if you put them together. I mean, like I, I demonstrated, I was playing a guitar that was tuned in the key of G, but because of the movable chord system, I could play in any key. So the song was in the key of C. So I hope you found this informative, and enjoy your practice.